Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the chairman of the Walt Disney Studios, Alan Horn. I'm truly honored to be with you this morning, this afternoon, to represent this great company. Under our Disney umbrella, we have a phenomenal collection of movie studios. Walt Disney Animation, Pixar Animation, <laughs> Disney Live Action, Marvel Studios, and Lucasfilm. There is no company like this in the world. Today's animation show is very special and a very important part of this weekend because it's where Walt Disney began in 1923. Please welcome the head of the Walt Disney and Pixar Animation Studios, the one and only John Lasseter. I know what you're all asking. What is with my new Rin Spooner D23 shirt? Does someone want one? All right. Today, we are going to show you things that no one has seen outside the walls of our studio. That's right. That's how we roll, because we're going to make some announcements of new stuff that you haven't heard from before. You're going to see some really, really rough animation, animation at all stages of production of movies we don't even have the titles for yet. We just have to show you stuff because we love it so much, and it's all for you. D23 Expo, yes. First, we'll start with the next chapter in the Frozen story, Olaf's Frozen Adventure. This is a 21-minute featurette that's going to be released in theaters this November with Pixar's Coco. It's directed by the Emmy-winning team of Kevin Dieters and Stevie Wormers from Prep and Landing and produced by Oscar winner Roy Conley from Big Hero 6. It has, count them, four brand new songs from the talented songwriting team of Alicia, Samsel, and Kate Anderson. And the, yeah. And the entire original cast is back. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the stage the voice of Anna, Kristen Burr. Um, so Olaf's Frozen Adventure takes place during the first winter since Anna and Elsa have reopened the doors of the castle. It's a magical time in Arendelle as the sisters, Kristoff, Sven, and Olaf prepare for their first holiday together. So Anna and Elsa welcome everyone to the castle to celebrate the Christmas holiday. But the villagers all leave early, explaining that they have to head home to enjoy their own family traditions. And the girls are a little disheartened. They realize because they were separated for so long, they don't actually have any holiday traditions of their own. And it breaks, oh, I know. <laughs> it breaks Olaf's tiny little icy heart to see the girls so sad. So he decides to take it upon himself to cheer them up. He tells Sven, Let's go find the best traditions Anna and Elsa have ever seen and bring them back to the castle. 
Olaf and Sven go door to door asking the villagers how they celebrate the holidays. And as Olaf collects these traditions, he starts feeling a bit musical. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Josh Gad! Hey! Hey guys! Hey! 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 I just, I just happen to be in the neighborhood. I just happen to be in the neighborhood writing the artist formerly known as Tower of Terror. And I thought I would drop in. Hey, Kristen. Hey, Josh. You need a little help with your presentation? Yeah. Okay. Let's do this live. <clears throat> Happy Merry Holly Jolly Seasons greetings here. I'm wondering what your family does at that time of year. Love and joy and peace on earth and tidings of good cheer. Do you have tradition things for that time of year? Josh Gad, ladies and Thank gentlemen. You. <laughs> if you liked seeing video games brought to life, in Wreck-It Ralph, you are going to go crazy for seeing the world of the internet brought to life and Ralph Breaks the Internet, Wreck-It Ralph 2. It's a way that you see this. This film is being created by the team who brought you the original Wreck-It Ralph and they're fresh off their Oscar-winning work on Zootopia. Please welcome directors Rich Moore and Phil Johnson. <laughs> The original film was a love letter to uh, video game arcades, a place that I spent a lot of time and money in as a kid. And when we thought about where to take these characters next, we knew we had to go somewhere big. Big. Right? Big. Big. Yes. Had to be big. Big. Bigger. Better. So this time, Ralph and his pal Vanellope are going to escape the arcade world and enter a whole new universe, the enormous and exciting world of the internet. And here to tell you more about that, oh. wait till you see this, the voice of Vanellope Von Schweetz, our dear friend, the incomparable Sarah Silverman. In our story, Vanellope's game, Sugar Rush, breaks. And Ralph and Vanellope have to travel into the internet and find a replacement part. It's the only way to save the game, right? Absolutely. What is really awesome about that, that sequence is that we got the actual actresses who played the princesses in the original films to come back and voice their iconic characters for that scene. Isn't that great? Isn't that great? All right, everybody, let's get a picture. Incredibles 2 is a movie that I have been waiting for since long before there was D23. Since I, I saw the first set of story reels, I said, I can't wait for the sequel. So we finally have it in the works. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to please welcome the writer, director of The Incredibles 2, Mr. Brad Bird. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the voice of Edna Mode. Ladies and gentlemen. I, I don't appear without getting the check, darling. But, but Edna, we, we, it's in the mail. The, the check's in the mail, you know. For we your, agreed that I would be paid. I, I understand that, but we're not, uh, none of us are being paid for this, you know. So maybe come on out and talk to D23. They really want to see you. Very well, I will appear in the form of a disillusioned middle-aged man. <laughs> <laughs> the voice of Edna Mode Bradburn! What separates The Incredibles from other superhero films is that it's fundamentally a story about family. They just happen to have superpowers. 
with this new film, we're excited to jump back into that world. We have a wonderful cast returning from the first film, uh, playing Bob, Mr. Craig T. Nelson. Holly Hunter. Woo! Sarah Vowell. Huck Milner. The legendary Samuel L. Jackson. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, the cast of Incredibles 2. Finally, I'm excited to share with you Pixar's next movie. Releasing on November 22nd, this Thanksgiving, Coco. Wait till you see this movie. It is breathtaking, it is beautiful, and it's incredibly emotional. We have an incredible film, uh, filmmakers at the helm. Please welcome director Lee Unkrich, co-director Adrian Molina, and producer Darla K. Anderson. Coco is a film that explores the universal themes of family bonds as well as celebrating our past. We are who we are because of the people who came before us, and we all stand on the shoulders of our ancestors. And it's so important that we honor them and to learn from the lessons that they can teach us. Coco is going to be packed with lots and lots of music. It's filled with traditional Mexican music and songs as well as original songs that we've created just for the film. To say goodbye, remember me. Don't let it make you cry. For even if I'm far away, I hold you in my heart. I sing a secret song to you each night. We are apart. Remember me. Though I have to travel far, remember me. Each time you hear a sad guitar, know that I'm with you. The only way that I can be. Ladies and gentlemen, the voice of Miguel Anthony Gonzalez and the voice of Ernesto De La Cruz, Benjamin Brett. Thank you, D23.
Okay, so are you a Disney movie fan? Did you like the video? What's your favorite Disney movie? I've got some behind the scenes facts from Disney movies. Production on Beauty and the Beast, which was a combination of traditional hand-drawn and computer-generated images, ran out of time and money, so they had to reuse the dancing scenes from Sleeping Beauty. Also, do you remember this scene in Frozen where Elsa walks out of her ice palace? Well, it took 132 hours, more than five days to generate, and that's not including the time it took to draft, draw and create. Whoa. Okay, so if you want to watch more videos like this, hit the subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you receive the videos the moment they are online. See you next time.